What up, man? It's kind of dark. I don't know if you can see me. Whatever. I'm going to try to do something real quick. So look, friends, um, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about a couple things today because I got to get a couple things resolved. Um, you know, you got to watch out for your peers or people that claim they fuck with you creating stipulatory shit uh, like everything from fake medical reports, fake business records, fake financial records. My own family tried to kill me because they had a couple felonies before they came to America. And they just did a fucked up evil shit. They every, did everything from sell weapons to just abuse drugs and attack each other. They ended up kind of like in military weddings. They just had to marry each other and try to resolve their love somehow. And when they were done, they went back to those criminal tendencies. So uh, the thing you got to be careful for is uh, a bad cocaine overdose. I've seen people that uh, they use cocaine a couple years in their life. And the thing with cocaine is I never really use it steadily. I think I tried it like three times and I just realized it was disease ridden. And the people that use it, they're, they're notoriously criminal and confused and they're just rage and, and, and a, uh, psychopathically prone. They never have healthy relationships, right? So I know there's been a lot of lies about me. My, my own family was going to court all the time. They got to the point where they had to drug me to bring me places to do social work because they knew the story they told me and what, what was really real was so fucked up they couldn't coincide, you see? So... The point I'm making with cocaine is it's basically the coca leaf. I'm going to talk about cocaine a little bit because those permanent overdoses fuck you guys up for life, right? It's a coca leaf. It's a small leaf that grows in, in, uh, in the wild and uh, all over the world, really, mostly Latin America. And uh, you can combine it with like a couple of other pastes and solvents and, turn and, and, and extract from it these sort of amphetamines. And then these amphetamines uh, end up being res resolved down to a powder. So the thing with this collective, the people that make this shit, is that they add a lot of fucked up shit to it. Um, they, they'll, they'll sometimes take generic prescription drugs that they get that are flooded from the black market. They'll crush that up and add it with your shit. They'll add all types of shit, you know. It's all fucking fake and pasty shit, but it'll make you very sick. Some of those are permanent synthetic molecules that when they end up binding to the receptors of your body, unless you can get them out with some type of proper enzyme or probiotic uh, solvent that actually naturally dissolves poison in your body and helps you get sick and get out of the withdrawal stages, you'll be sick for your whole life. You'll never get those uh, complex molecules bounded to your cells out. So the way to resolve that is you got to detox. I talked about this in my last video. And you got to regenerate, right? Very important that you use those terms often, right? Detox and regenerate. Oh, shit. Am I, there you go. Detox and regenerate, right? So listen. So cocaine got to go. Um, I've seen people, even in my own family, in my circles, it ruins their life. And the trick is that when people know it's an overdose-prone thing, they'll force you to take it. You know, they'll, 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 I told you before, I was in Manhattan, in lower Manhattan, and I was at a party I did not want to go to. Basically, a group of people basically forced me to go. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. And like I said, I don't... I don't I don't personally build in circles with fake shit, you know what I'm saying? I got I got to fuck with you in the real. I know hip hop is a desolate scam of losers trying to make money off of their reputations and never having to be anybody real to anyone. That's what the fuck it is. That's why I, I told you before. Um, I'm heavy D, you know. I'm broom ducats. I, I quietly reside to the east east side of Queens. Use my biotech to make mixtapes every day. I won't ever have to deal with your fake shit. All right? Run DMC is one of the worst. It's just one an evil fucking cult where y'all were just bipolar and bisexual pseudo thugs. Y'all practically tried to kill yourselves with one another, and then you came out to attack me. So grow the fuck up. This mafia shit ends. All right? So that's the, that's the answer with cocaine. Don't ever fucking use it. It's mixed with synthetic molecules and either, even poisons that will permanently damage your body unless you can undo those toxins and undo those poisons. And they bond you receptors. They'll keep you sick for many years. And you'll never really have behavioral or emotional and intellectual control. You'll always be hustling from one drug to the next trying to get the high back. The reason why that happened to you is because, you know, the actual functioning of your adrenal system, everything from dopamine to the other chemicals you use to submit pleasure and even deal with this, the basic states of relaxation, those glands and those secretions systems are damaged now you always need drugs now to even have the most basic modicum of um, you know emotional health and, and, and natural wherewithal so you, you just end up in a cycle where you're always sick and everyone from corp corporate to um, you know high-end entertainment and business all you kind of fell into these cycles where you were persistently sick and you were abusing drugs that were making you insane and they put you on TV because they wanted you to just implode and self-destruct that's the lesson there all right so you're gonna see a lot of high-end felony work from celebrities because they don't really know how to behave and control themselves. And I see out of that cult the whole fucking time. And what you guys try to get me with is cannabis use, right? I, I could piff my weed to the last day. I, I know why the power herb works and why you guys get fucked up with those poisons you abuse, right? That's a lesson there. So the power, you gotta stick to things that are organic. Synthetic molecules will destroy your body. They don't have natural relationships to yourselves. They don't know how to break that stuff down. And then there are scientists that'll chemically engineer poisons and they'll put it in the drugs you use, the street drugs, you see? So you gotta get away from that shit, all right? So cocaine is a natural poison, it'll fuck you up. If you don't know what it is, don't, don't let a buzzword lure you into thinking it's fun. Uh, the cannabis is fine, it's a power herb. Don't let people sell you brown, weird shit that's been sprayed. That's not going to fuck with it either, right? Substance abuse is anything you do the wrong way, right? So only smoking cannabis is not healthy. You need to use the oil. You need to use the cannabinoids, the natural tincture oil. I talked about that on my Twitter. Go to the top, get those four supplements. You'll see Medterra CBD. 
buy that right don't fall out to fake shit i talked about detoxify regenerate take care of yourself it's the your body is the conduit in this dimension right don't fall out to sickness nobody's going to pay you to die they don't give a fuck they're just marching you to your demise make sure you're ready to be your true self right so next um, you know, the, the, way, the way the law works, the legal system is bankrupt now. You're going to notice how some of the old Nintendo Switches, they don't have, the new one rather, they don't have any of the, the fucking legal banter or the electrical, the electric sort of FCC like regulations on the back because Nintendo never honored these companies. They didn't pay for shit. Y'all went to court many times. Right? You didn't pay for the best directors. So go the fuck up, right? I got to hold this off for my family. You guys turn into a cult. You have many, many levels of cult abuse over tech firms that I work for. And the art, and the art I do as a director, right? Using my biotech platforms. So don't listen to these fucking losers stipulating fake shit, right? They go to court dozens of times to lie about me, but they'll never see me in my face, right? So we're going to talk about residence and reciprocity again. Uh, don't be anywhere having to fake your credentials for anybody, all right? Make sure that you honor what's real, what's paid for, and what's made. Um, once you guys are in a position where you feel like you always got to sell fake all the fucking time, then you're not going nowhere with your intelligence, right? And that's the thing with large business. Um, they could stipulate a couple of fake people, fake relationships around you, and they could even use them to rule your ego or kill you. Uh, I know people that still work for me in some of the chain stores you guys stole. Those are stolen businesses where a guy came to my fucking apartment and shot me, son. And he went back to work a couple, I think a year later. And I, and I think I, I'm still looking for this guy. I don't know what the fuck happened to him, but it's pretty disgusting. But the whole thing is that the way business works is you got to resolve it. If you see your CEO and he walks into a business or a bank, tell him straight up for real that, you know, we got to work our payroll at some point. We got to make sure personal relationships relative to finance and business get resolved for us as a collective, right? Once you guys are in a business you stole for more than eight months and you know that there's money put aside for a CEO... That's larger than what, like a million dollars, even 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 more than half a million. Then you're already in felony arrears. You see, you stole too much, right? So when that gets resolved, there's no happy way to end it. It's either a civil case or some of you going to jail. You see, you can't steal an entire business. So what what you guys are doing in New York is you're just remaining neutral. You're acting like you don't know who the fuck I am. You see me, I just gotta not give Malik a name and let him walk right past and hope that I don't go to prison because most of you're in felony arrears. A lot of the large metal tech deals and even art deals, uh, we got we bought those because you guys are not doing real work. You you crash the market on purpose just to fake your chicanery and back international economies. That shit don't work, right? I'm not getting paid for fraud. That's why I'm kind of glad I stayed in New York. I need to see why the fuck you guys lie so much. I can predictably account for what I do in the city. I'm not I'm not hustling my ass overseas just to watch you guys lie and crash markets over over, over and over again. All right, so a lot of your metal deals are going to get canceled. Right? We're going to start stipulating new shit. Your logos are vagrant. It is about the temple of logos. Don't go, don't go places needing to lie about what you do or what your needs are. Right? Make sure you back things with validity and in the realm of the real. Otherwise, all y'all sell out to fake and chicanery and we're not fucking with y'all. Right? So that's it. It's old tricks, old hat. All the, all the sort of common tricks you guys use in business now, stolen business, mnemonics, technology, uh, fake deals, fake resolutions, non-validation. We already accounted for that. You notice when Manafort went to jail, they, uh, I saw a little news clip about this, uh, a little sort of court drawing about it. They explained to him, uh, do you feel like you're within your right mind and your right body? This is a very important question. Uh, you can't drug somebody and hold them at gunpoint and force them to do that in court. People are watching. You see? But a lot of you guys have fake PR. You'll physically drug heavy D, bring them out of jail. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I'm standing up by the seat, street wearing a shirt and a hat, and you guys keep putting a positive nurse spray on my neck every 20 minutes. You guys are going to get fucking murked for that shit, I'm telling you. Don't ever try that shit again. You can't live in a fake world where you still play fake relationships and fake business. We're going to cancel you motherfuckers for real. Recognize. All right? So I talked about resonance and reciprocity. Resonance is your true self. Be fair to others. Reciprocity is fairness. Right? You don't need to fake shit or make cults about all your abuses. You guys got to show up someplace being real. So for that reason, the legal system is done. We don't need y'all fucking lying about me every year. All right? I'm fine. In fact, my wherewithal is much better than yours. I have to tell the truth. I actually do real work. You guys show up places stipulating fake shit. You heard? So... Stolen business is a problem. Now, robotics is going to be much more favored. We're going to integrate logistics. Uh, if, if I can't make something, test it, have it shipped, and even get paid, then that means somewhere along the supply chain, you guys are stealing from me. That's why you made a whole iPhone cult about Quail Hollows. Somebody in the tech center has to back some of your tech deals. American tech deals are the worst. You guys are very immature in this country. Millennials, you, you really can't fuck with y'all. I mean, you'll shoot your way in and out of a bank account and never honor a real family. So that's disgusting, all right? If it was that easy, I would have died decades ago. In fact, you have tried. So we're going to keep talking. Felony arrears is when you guys already know you committed a crime, right? Oh, shit, hold on. You guys already know you committed a crime, but you're hiding out on a business, walking in and out of offices every day, trying to find a way to justify your insolvency by hoping that all of you lying together will keep you safe. That's a fucking problem, friends, because we know there's large, large uh, you know, tech deals, there's directors that are missing, there's people that got shot out of a job. You guys don't even say my name in the media, right? But you know the alphabet in Google is physically defunct if we don't make sure that, that corporate finance and real banking at the, at the consumer level, at the street level of cash and debit doesn't get resolved. Uh, you guys are sitting in New York City now looking like, 
basically bankrupted the very nomenclature of your own signatures in your own name and even the districts you live in, right? You're noticing that entire areas are being rezoned, uh, communities are being renamed, right? Uh, you guys are in, 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 in fucking felony arrears on the market. You guys steal too much, steal way too fucking much as a collective. Many of you in New York and the banking community and the metal community and the art community, most of you are systemically, systemically fraud. I got shot by many of you. In fact, the old building I was in, Kew Gardens Village Mall, that was a fucking thug playground for a lot of you fucking fake-ass pseudo-thugs. You never did any real work, all right? It's freedom of religion. I don't need to worship your fucking vagrant priests and your demagogues. Y'all got to come correct with my respect and my intelligence. A lot of y'all don't even know what problems you're trying to solve with this fake cult-like shit, all right? So there's a lot of cults in New York. iPhone's a big one. You guys don't even like it when the older tech firms don't work on your technology because you know it's not as good. Well, go the fuck up. You got to pay me for my time, right? I, I still work at Asus. Right? We make a phone there. I work at Razor, Razor.com, R-A-Z-E-R.com. Right? If you like our products, buy them. The way this now is you guys are in an endless vortex of societal and psychopathic abuse. I was at Microsoft the whole time. I did Nintendo, Sony, PlayStation, and Microsoft Xbox. In fact, we're going to dip, ditch these international firms because you guys will honor us. I see you doing these fucking fake PR reports. You know where the fuck I am. You got, you got email, phone, you got everything. Hit me up direct. We got to solve problems, all right? If I'm not getting paid, y'all dollars get canceled, for real. This E3 uh, Electronic Entertainment Expo, I, we always got games featured there. Unfortunately, I got shot when I went there. So that's a scam. QuakeCon, I was at Quake the whole time. It's a very violent cult. I did Quake 3 with ID Software and one of my professors at AT&T and several other of us. Uh, that turned into a violent cult also. ECS, uh, I think it's Electronic Computer. Uh, I forget what it is. It's, it's Electronic um, Computer Expo. I'm sorry. I, I should know ECS. But uh, that's another Apple cult. Y'all shot me for that as well. So go the fuck up, right? Religious cults and communication barriers. I hate to say it, but the Jews are really, really in deficit. I find my peers, um, a lot of the Moors, you guys can actually speak to science and you can speak to religious tradition. And you know that there's a continuity collective there, that, that the old relates to the new, right? Um, the Jews are always grappling about you guys being insolvent. I hate to say it, but don't make a fucking cult about me. It's not a little fucking bankrupt Jewish catering cult. It's not $80 and four bus buckets, right? Go the fuck up. It's trillions of dollars. And large portions of the metal trade and material arts, all right? You saw Marvel's Avengers. I walked in and out of TD Bank for years. You're not going to tell me my average balance is $200 and you keep me broke and stupid so you can insult us. Well, the fuck up, all right? The problem with your, your, your languages is you guys don't have the correct context to things like science and metaphysics relative to these sort of old, weird little Hebrew traditions. You guys don't dictate correctly, you see? So when we got to talk science and business and religion and intelligence, and metaphysics, transmutations and consciousness, you guys get muddled up. You can't even finish those conversations, right? Because you're insulting us every fucking time you see us. So don't tell me that you are giving us things or you're offering us human trafficking. So when, at one point, you guys are throwing R&B celebrities at me. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck vagrant uh, hussies for fucking money, right? You got to have real intelligence. You got to address me as a man. I couldn't even see some of these women on TV talking to me for more than 10 minutes without abu themselves abusing drugs and them trying to spray drugs on me. Process nerve spray being a big one, right? They want to damage your ego, so you do whatever the fuck they say. Y'all so stupid and indolent. Y'all need to get real credentials. Grow the fuck up. Systemically sick as a culture. Y'all ain't doing shit. That's what I'm saying. This bipolar, bisexual cult is what's fucking you up. You guys have disease all over your body. Your organs are falling out. You got to resolve your chakras. You got to know the correct way to uh, manifest your energy. I've been sleeping alone. I've been single for a long, long time, you know, but you guys made many cults about celebrities that pay for rape. So grow the fuck up, right? You know, persistent about it. I can't even sleep around you guys, even in the same city, you know? Um, so that's what's happening to you all is you guys play this whole fucking locksmith bullshit. You know what the fuck you are. You know that you need titles and deeds to own a building. Somebody has to stipulate that property. Don't make a fake cult about a bunch of corporate vagrants that don't really do real work. We will not see motherfuckers again, I'm telling you. It ain't nothing nice. I'm 36. You guys practically try to ruin my whole life. So, you, you know, I'm, you're going to pay the price, I'm telling you. It, there's no cheap way out of it. You either, you either pay with respect and real earned labor, or you're going to pay with your fucking time. Because you, you're not going to grow up claiming that every single time you saw me and you spoke, you had to lie. That's a fucking problem, right? And don't be afraid either. Oh, as soon as you know something is wrong, try to address it at, at the intelligent level. Now you guys are making several, 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 uh, you know, layers of cults about lies you sell and about abuses you project. And you can't get yourselves out of it because you know you're still stuck in felony arrears. You stole more than you paid for. So grow the fuck up, right? So don't banter in foreign li dialects. I see women sometimes marrying men of color, and they even make fun of their own mixed-race kids. They talk shit about them. 
uh, even in other languages, just to kind of uh, spite us. So that's it. What, what you're doing at, at that level is you're so fucking insecure and sick that we couldn't really ask you to honor us, right? You don't honor your own tribe. You don't even know where your own ancestors come from. You guys call yourselves white. That's not a real declaration. Uh, even calling yourself black is not a declaration. You got to actually honor your nation, honor your tribe. Where are your people's from? Where do they go from? Where do they come to and from? And what are they doing now? What are the changes they're going through? Um, that's the whole thing about importing sort of immigrants. Don't ever call us that in New York, right? We were always stipulating the Americas. We were the Omaya, we were the Yorubas, we were the Kemites from Egypt. We stipulated this whole region of the country. And you guys raised a race war to kill us. You destroyed our monuments. The Smithsonian was damaging every fucking temple they could find. And then trying to create a whole new linguistic framework and a whole new religion. Right? So you didn't have a fucking story, right? And now you're back to stupid again because you can't even honor our tribes, the large amounts of land that we stipulate in, in Central Asia as Asiatics, and still claim that you can even back your imports with fake fucking ghost money with dead presidents on it. You heard that? So go the fuck up, right? We got to do real work intelligently. Or you guys create a little mnemonic civilization about a b bankrupt economic protocol, all right? If it's still money you want, fine. We all got to count it. But you know that I'm working. You see me every fucking year. So that's it, friends. You guys are cackling these little sort of tribal religions. But when you talk, you make jokes about yourself and each other. You don't have real resolution skills. So go the fuck up, right? I've been seeing too many of you looking stupid. From every diaspora, actually. Too many of you. So go the fuck up. New York is not a prison city. Uh, we're going to cancel this bullshit for real, all right? So don't get lost in this, this insecure banter. Have knowledge of self, your tribe. Have knowledge of other tribes. Speak about them with respect. Talk about the positive aspects and the negative. And make sure you honor them both with real empirical math and data. Right? Don't talk about some old stipulatory uh, statute or some old superstition or some old uh, curse or story that happened thousands of years ago. We don't give a fuck. We, we got, we, you got to watch the news and study economics every day. All right? Go the fuck up. Use your int intellect. Get a real story. So that's it, friends. Stop milling, in terms of that subject, stop milling that gear for indolence and insolvency. You guys know what the fuck you're doing. You, you, the market doesn't crash by accident. Money doesn't disappear, right? It goes to someone else's bank account. That's what's actually fair about NASDAQ, even though it's a fucking really stupid stipulatory cult of fake connections, right? Uh, we got to back and get the international banks out of America, right? I don't give a fuck what race you are. Um, if you're really born in this country, whether you like it or not, you got to do real work and you got to protect the integrity of the work we're doing here, right? Don't tell me the president does a real job. He hasn't done shit in four years. In fact, he's been fucking orgling and talking shit about uh, rappers and technologists and artists like us. Not even rappers. I do a lot of shit. I'm, I'm in every industry. Mainly the things I love. The finer things, right? The technology and the work I love. I do that shit consistent, all right? So... Uh, don't get lost in this technology and banter. Causally relate your dialect to real solutions. Some of you guys are so deep in your insecurity. You're so sick. You can't even really honor your true selves. Either now or, 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 or even a couple years from now. You guys created whole cults on the West Coast about art and rap you stole and technology you stole. You can't even come out here and hand us money with your actual true persons. You can't even tell us the crimes you, you committed. Because most of y'all fucking going to jail for the structural fraud. Right? You need to go the fuck up. Right? So the main thing you guys got to do is make sure business is completed and paid. If you buy something and you honor it, that it's made well, make sure that the people that make that technology are honored and telling you real shit. I want to hear about this Dred Scott vampire voodoo, 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 uh, voodoo, voodoo money shit. You're going to try to kill me, hurt my family, and claim that I can't honor a real name? Don't fucking try it, all right? A lot of the celebrities, even presidents you see, had to change their names to fake shit, right? Ask yourself, do these people really, were they born with the names they have? Or are they using stipulatory shit to kind of get around because of past felonies or really fast uh, lies, past lies, excuse me, on their resume? Shit, fucked up shit they did structurally that bankrupted them and their whole family. Stop obsessing about your losses. Grow the fuck up and try to make sense out of your life right now. Don't be afraid to, to honor your indolence in your lies, right? Maybe you fucked up. Maybe you told lies for too long. Maybe you contaminated your legitimacy. You know what? Let's try to make those things right. Let's try to help each other learn to heal with the right intelligence, all right? Uh, if you're going to stay stuck and sick all the time, we can't have you all around, especially not around my name or my resume. So don't fucking talk shit about me. I got to take care of my family, all right? Take your dumb asses somewhere else and cancel your fucking bullshit, all right? Your dollars got to learn. So the whole thing with resolution is you got to make sure business is complete and paid. I, I actually had a cult of young women. They, they actually try to drag me, bring me out of bed, and they use a lot of co complex paralysis nerve spray to create stipulatory secondary shit. You try to record me admitting certain things and accepting certain things that are not true, right? And you put that shit on camera and claim it's real business. Well, try to do that for three weeks in a row and watch what happens, right? Every day I'm waking up having a sell fake shit for you, it's not going to fucking happen, friends. You got to do real work. That's the thing with millennials. You guys jumped into an advanced tech economy. You were overwhelmed by art, even overwhelmed by all the stipulations and complexity of what real learning is. When you realize people doing this shit got to get paid and do better, you realize, oh my God, like, how can I buy into these uh, systems or these companies without consent? How can I sneak my way in? How can I break doors and locks and steal? Y'all need to go the fuck up. There's too few of you, right, to honor my love. At the same time, you got to be somebody real. 
right? You may not master me, but you may master someone that has the values you want. So you're not gonna push your way into cults and make a whole fucking fake music click about about beats that y'all stole 20 years ago. Instrumental in, instrumentals y'all stole 20 years ago. Y'all fucking ridiculous. The big record labels, Def Jam, y'all fucking indefinitely done, right? I'm amazed that Google and even Alphabet are this, is, is this salvageable now. Y'all fucking pathetic. You know where you're at. You can find me. Bring a fucking hundred grand and let's talk real business. Make sure you stop lying consistently. Now you guys are stealing things and trying to keep your asses out of jail. Y'all are fucked. So last what I'm going to tell you is that um, it's kidnapping and fake PR and mnemonics is just disgusting. Everywhere you go, you guys got a side story about shit you're not really doing and work you're not really paying for. All right. So make sure things are validated and resolved. I talk about resolution. Finish things. That's it, friends. Watch True Lies on a Schwarzenegger. A lot of that shit in that movie is real. Uh, you guys think it's really one story. It's really another. We really got to hold down complex work. For me to even survive all the weapon attacks y'all came around with is pathetic. But I don't want to see y'all talking shit ever. Y'all just, it's a lot of indolent pseudo thugs, right? You got to honor the real work about your tribes. That's what it is, right? Uh, a lot of us got stuck with inheritance. We, we got stuck with your problems, too. But I did the best I could with what I have. And I finished my work and I make sure I handle tasks. But Apple ain't pay shit, right? I think Microsoft Office Pro was a big bankruptcy. Uh, Bill Gates can't stipulate most of the software we sell at Microsoft. He's a fucking PR diva. He's diddles. We got to cancel these others. Y'all got to actually pay me for the work I do at Microsoft. Hand over fist. Capital One's another scam. Don't claim you're making banks uh, about Americans and you're not honoring us. Don't even go to work that day, right? Come find me direct. And don't bring guns and all your fucking stupid vagrancy around, right? Go the fuck up. I got to get paid and take care of my family. It's not that difficult. Right? Y'all so deep in felony areas now. I think the American bankruptcy is going to go bankrupt again. Right? It's not that difficult. Grow the fuck up. You got shirts, suits, and ties. You pay for those. All right, so that money's mine. You shouldn't even bother. You should have put on a hoodie and make sure you handed me money direct. It's not that difficult, guys, but you guys got to train in real skills. Train in real skills. Make sure you can have biotech, but if you don't have something that's energetically beautiful or intelligent to resolve, there's really no need for those tools. Everything you make is just dumb, stupid, and ugly. You know? That's what I'm saying. Don't. I mean, I'm not trying to say dumb, stupid, and ugly. It's just ineffective. Have effective solutions with whatever tools you have and make sure you resolve things, all right? I hate to be so fucking nasty, but y'all falling out real fucking bad. I mean, I just can't find even enough of you that have a real story to tell. I mean, I don't see how you guys are graduating college diplomas. Y'all shot me out of a diploma. Y'all still claiming you're really doing work in New York. It's pathetic. So we're going we gonna to solve you, right? A lot of fucking criminal shit going on. You can't explain how Marvel's Avengers is coming out, but yeah, how, you know, waiters are still not getting paid. And they're claiming you guys are actually catering cults now. We got to go to work and get, you know, $80 for four bus buckets. And we're fucking 10 years into this franchise. Y'all ridiculous. Go the fuck up. Stop these demonic cults. Many of you are going to be canceled. I'm serious. We don't need this fake insecure shit. Y'all need to really honor your real selves, right? I think some of you are so fucking sick that you guys got into bad drug addictions. You couldn't even tell the truth about what you are. And you're addicted to money. And your own pain and anger is making you fall out. So that's a lesson there, right? Be ready to tell the truth. We, we cancel paralysis, nerve spray. I even saw a party once where they, they put like a... Uh, some type of like heroin or some type of complex uh, anesthesia drug that causes paralysis and seizures, they put it in a water bottle and dumped it on somebody, like a, a guy in, in the mainstream media. And he didn't know what it was. He started wiping it off. He just thought it was water. And all of a sudden, within a couple of minutes, he started having violent seizures. And they actually use this shit for abductions and rapes. So there's all types of poisons and abuses in the world of fan, fanatic and fandom. That's what I'm saying, kids. Grow the fuck up. Commit to real skills. And you'll see yourself flourishing within a couple of years. You know, it's going to take a while to really back the work you do and see it make you rich. But, you know, start right away with something you want to excel at. And stop accepting disease and your own drug abuse. All right? Take care of your body. Detox and regenerate. Go to my Twitter. Get those four supplements on the top. Facebook has the same thing. My Twitter is Malik Francois underscore. All right. My Facebook username is Facebook.com slash Malik NYC. All right. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. All right. You're going to cancel fake shit for real. So that's it, friends. I'm done today. All right. September 21st, 2020. Queens County, New York State, United States of America. Oh, my God. Yoruba. Americua. A maxim and transmission. Brome ducats.